Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode from Akiwi's Tinker Crate. My name is Cougar and this over here is my buddy Banjo. We've got another box in today and this one, as you can see right here, says Light Up Planetarium. Uh, now, of course, if you know anything about what a planetarium is, it's uh, usually a large building that uh, on the inside they kind of light up the ceiling and everything with all the different kinds of constellations, stars, galaxies, and things like that that you can see in the regular night sky. Uh, so uh, I'm going to guess that we're going to have something like that. Maybe this is going to project or maybe it's going to be something that we look up into. Uh, we'll have to find out here. We'll go ahead and get it open and uh, take a look at the parts and components. Uh, Banjo and I will go ahead and uh, uh, get it put together and everything and then we'll give you guys a little bit of a demonstration on what it does. Alright guys, well we got everything out here. We've got our, our paperwork and everything and then all of our parts. Uh, first thing I'm looking at here is this is uh, a round section here. It's um, part of that, uh, I think this is, yep, this is that that laminated, that laminated uh, thin wood boards here that they use the uh, laser cutting to uh, cut it out. But then they've also uh, already painted it for us. Uh, I'm sure that's to uh, help with uh, shining all the lights out since it's dark and everything. And then uh, it looks like we've got pieces of like a night sky. It looks like they fold up together and everything. They have the months in there, the name of the months. So uh, you know maybe this yeah, as you maybe you turn it or something and it will show you kind of what the sky will look like during that time of year uh, we've got uh, like a cardboard pop-out piece and uh, it uh, it has some different areas that you pop out some pieces it tells you there's supposed to be like some sticky foam on a couple pieces so I'm sure this is going to be for part of the assembly uh, we've got uh, well, it looks like a little bit of an electronics kit and it has some LEDs in it so I'm gonna guess this is gonna go ahead and give us our lighting like uh, like on a previous video uh, we've got um, know, some little ends or something like that these look like little push ends or something that you put on the end of something I don't know uh, we'll find out what that is here in a minute uh, simple little dowel rod and uh, what are uh, those? sticky pieces Oh, the foam stickies. Yeah. Okay, so there's all our foam stickies and everything. So, so there's all the uh, the hardware part of it, and then uh, of course we've got our two pieces of uh, of paperwork here. The first one, of course, being the Tinker Zine. Uh, you know, of course, talks about stargazing and everything right there. And as you go through it, I'm sure there's lots of different things that they'll tell you about. There's a little globe thing there that has like looks like a star chart. Lots of stuff like that on there, so uh, definitely something to check out, kind of go over with uh, with the kids and, and kind of learn about the stars and everything. So there we go there. And then here we go. Oh, there. There's the picture of the, uh, the planetarium. It's a little half dome looking piece there. So, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of kind of looks like uh, what a regular planetarium might look like to an extent uh, just on the other on the other side of it or on the outside so oh there we go there's some better pictures right there and it looks like it shines out maybe on on the walls or something like that so uh, well and of course on the back end are the instructions so banjo and I'll go ahead and get uh, cracking on this we'll get some uh, get this all assembled and you guys will get to see us speed through it real quick <laughs> everybody well here we go uh, this is the finished product here uh, now just to let you know there are a lot of stars on this so it did take us a long time to do it uh, I did help banjo here doing it and uh, what we did we kind of cheated at one point and made it easier on ourselves since that is just a little push pin we took uh, a piece of tape 
put it over top of the push pin so it pushed through the tape and then taped it to the dowel rod that is actually used here on the bottom to hold the planetarium up and we turned the dowel rod into a temporary handle and that way we could sit there and poke through all of the uh, hundreds I think of stars that are on here I mean there's there's got to be hundreds on here and uh, it took it took a little bit of time even with both of us working on it and as you can see there he's he's lighting it up uh, I'm not sure how well you guys can see it yeah there's a little there's a few little spaces where it kind of pops through because of the way that it's separated and everything and uh, there is some black uh, like felt tape that you could uh, use to kind of cinch that up a little bit you just got to watch you don't cover up the uh, the little holes for the stars and everything uh, but yeah, I mean this is this is pretty cool and with that uh, dowel pin there you can of course tilt it from side to side and uh, You know depending on the room that you're in or whatever you can shine it more up on a wall Or if you want to shine it straight up you can shine it on the ceiling and uh, You know kind of direct which way you want it to go now uh, something that uh, we haven't done yet and I, I haven't I, we we didn't notice it in here exactly but uh, I'm sure maybe we just have to look a little further into the instructions or maybe into the tinker zine here uh, but there is this little cutaway section here and there are the uh, num or the months the, uh, and you've got those and those should be able to attach to here and then you can actually rotate the planetarium so if you have it on an angle like this you can take and rotate it around and set it up so that the month shines through the window and that should be what you're seeing in the night sky during that month uh, roughly of course so and you can sit there and rotate it very slowly to maybe simulate uh, the changing of the seasons and the months and you know the time of year and everything so that's that's pretty cool actually this is a, a really neat really neat project banjo was saying here how he kind of really like this one it was pretty interesting um, with uh, with the way that it works out and everything and uh, we have the little switch in there he was showing you how it went oh, where is that switch? there it is and uh, not sure again not sure how well you can see some of those uh, some of those dots uh, coming through um, very hard to very hard to light up but they're shining on the uh, on the table here and on my hand. You want to hit a couple of the lights, see if they'll shine. Just grab those, those ones over there. Yeah, go ahead and hit one of those too. And uh, bottom. Just just push the rocker. There we go. Yeah. So there we go. You can see it lighting up, you can see a lot of the stars and the looks, all the little dots and everything shining through. And like I said, with these sections that where it kind of comes through, oop, I bumped the wires. And there we go. Yeah, make sure those wires are tight and everything too. When you have them in there, make sure they're on that uh, LED really well. But uh, you can, of course, take and put a little bit of tape on uh, these sections here where it shines through kind of cockeyed because it's coming through the uh, through the uh, slits in the uh, cardboard okay guys well that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up uh, for us today uh, my name is Cougar this is my buddy banjo here uh, you can check this out down on the Kiwi site uh, there is the link to the tinker crate down there in the description below also while you're down there don't forget to check out our social media and on your way down I want you to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you like this. If you like seeing stuff like this, uh, definitely appreciate the thumbs up. Let's us know that you enjoy what you're watching and everything. And uh, here in just a second, if it's not already there, there's going to be a little icon floating over there. That's a subscribe button. And uh, you can hit that. Uh, and that will, of course, if you have it set up along with the uh, notification bell down there, it'll let you know when we have new videos coming out. And, uh, you know, you guys will be able to watch more from a Kiwi's Tinker Crate and these Tinker Crate uh, unboxings and builds. So, I think, uh, I think we're good to go, right, Banjo? Alright, so uh, we'll see you guys later, and have a good day. Bye!